the bell icon. Thank you. Hi hey guys, I've just set up this new group called Ant Keeping Group on Facebook. Uh, please search it by typing in Ant Keeping Group on Facebook and you'll be able to find us. Uh, we have 107 members and we're growing and I want to try and get as many people over to it as possible. We're going to be sharing information about Ant Keeping. People can post pictures, videos, there'll be competitions on there and giveaways eventually. Uh, also, it's going to be pretty fun guys, so you know, jump onto Facebook and join the Ant Keeping Group and share it with your friends. Hey guys, it's Ant-Man UK here. Hope it's doing well. I'm sorry it's been such a long time since I last did my last video. It's been approximately about three weeks. Uh, the problem is I've been having is that because it's early nights now, I finish work at half past four at p.m. and I get home from work and it's dark. And with it being dark, I don't have sufficient lighting to do my recordings with my close-up and stuff. So it was diff difficult. So I waited patiently for a weekend and this weekend I wasn't too busy so I managed to get the setups up and running and get some recording done for you guys um, unfortunately I was looking through all my test tube setups of the Lacious Niger Queens all the ones I've caught from the natural flights and a few of the few of them have passed away unfortunately and some of the first worker ants that was with some of the Queens have died um, but however I'd say about 20 to 30 of the test tubes are still okay. I've not managed to check all of them to make sure they're all okay, but I'm hoping that um, after winter we'll have some of them that are still fine, which I can move into a setup, which I plan on doing after Christmas. I want to try and make a natural terrarium, which is going to be really cool. I'm going to probably make a video of me making it. Obviously, I'm going to hide away from the camera as usual because. Um, I've sort of thought to myself if I'm gonna show my face it'll show my face when we get to like 500,000 subs that'll be the goal <laughs> and then uh, I'll do a face reveal for you guys that should be quite interesting and then you can say see if the voice matches the face um, but anyway some of these uh, Lacious Niger Queens are doing pretty well here's one of them at the moment with her first worker and she's got a lot of poopy and larvae and eggs in her She's doing really well. The only thing I'm a bit concerned about is that they're not slowing down. Now, when I checked up on them and I realized, oh, have I been a bit stupid? I have a box, right? A big cardboard box. And it has every Lacious Niger Queen I caught during the Neptune flight stored in it. However, I've been storing this box in this office spare room uh, right next to a radiator. <laughs> and. I've not realized that because it's becoming colder and I've not actually set this radiator to zero that this radiator in the spare room is coming on so I'm beginning to think whether these queens are thinking that it's still warm and you know they're staying active they're not slowing down they're not hibernating so I'm technically messing around with their hibernation clock and it's very bad um, so I could either do two things, I could move them to somewhere else that's colder in the house, probably the kitchen or the, probably another room in the house where it's a bit colder so they'd hibernate, um, I'll just move them away from the radiator. Uh, but yeah, they seem to be quite lively, even though it's the winter months. On the other hand, the Mesobarbarius colony, speaking of that, I'm going to be restarting up the live stream this weekend, guys, so stay tuned for it. The Mesobarbarius colony is going back on live stream. However, I must warn you that they have slowed down a lot. They are in the spare room, but they're nowhere near the radiator. They're over there on my end of the desk, of my computer desk, in the setup. Um, but I will be putting them back on live stream, and it, it's it's cold, so they've slowed down a lot. I'd see these they come a little bit active around lunchtime onwards um, for a bit of feeding and drinking. But um, the live footage is going to be a bit slow. They're not going to be moving much. You'll probably just see them um, like just sitting there chilling. Um, yeah, but a lot of these latest Niger queens are doing pretty well. This is still the same queen. I would move the position of the test tube just so we can get a brilliant look at her. You can see it's like a golden glare off her from the lighting. Now I'm using uh, fluorescent lighting here so it, sh it should be more of a natural light. 
However, I don't understand that with Lysius Nitro, even when I use a natural light. Um, it give, they give off like a yellow glow, it's kind of strange, but I just love the detail, we can still see the scarring is still quite fresh on those sides, um, there's still a bit of red pigment in the scarring tissue, but she's doing pretty well, um, that she's got that first worker, and she's got a lot of eggs, she's got a lot of larvae, and hopefully soon she's going to have some uh, more hatching, probably I'm hoping before Christmas, but probably after Christmas more than likely. I hope all your ants are doing well guys. Um, let me know in the comment section below about your colonies and how they're doing. I'd like to hear about it. Don't forget, I really want people to take advantage of the Facebook group. I want it to grow and I want you all to take part in it. If you, if you want, you can share your photos and stuff like I said. And it'd be interesting to share with a lot of people and to learn new things about ant keeping and share knowledge. It'd be really interesting. I'm quite active on there as well so you can even ask me stuff and I will answer your questions. Um, but yeah, I'm absolutely chuffed that majority of these queens I've caught during this neptune flights are doing pretty well. I'm a bit sad about some of them that have passed away, but you know, it does happen. We uh, we know this from experience that not all colonies are gonna, you know, rise to success and a lot of them you do lose in the early stages. But like I was saying, after Christmas, my plan is to make some ty uh, terrariums, so uh, I've got a nice little Christmas shopping list that I'm going to get myself, and I'm going to get some tanks and, you know, do a proper setup, which will be really nice to record me doing. Um, I really want one of those natural, natural setups because they, they look awesome. You know, you got you must admit they look awesome, and it'll be something beautiful and nice to add to the channel. Anyway guys, enough of my chitty chatting talking, I'm going to leave you with the rest of the footage, I hope you've enjoyed it, um, please uh, please come along to the Facebook group, um, check out my website as well, andkeeping.co.uk, um, there's a lot of farm aquariums on there for sale at the moment and there's useful information for new ant keepers and new, yeah, new, new people getting into ant keeping, um, yeah, so enjoy the rest of the footage, uh, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment below and I'll see you next time. I'm on UK.